Hey, what's up, everybody? Hank Basket here, 93.3 KOBFM. I just want to say, hey, y'all join me today on the radio. It's going to be a lot of fun. Love you, 505. Once I became an Eagle, I really got to see how many Eagles fans there were. I'm saying, you, you're in a, I'm in L.A., and then all of a sudden I find out there's an a, a all-Eagle sports bar, and then people coming up showing tattoos of the Eagle across their back. I'm like, wow. And this, I, I really enjoy Philadelphia. Opportunity here in Albuquerque. What would you consider it? Like a coaching job at the Lobos or something, you know? Because your name was going around. I mean, everybody was talking about it. Like Hank, Hank um, needs to be there. It's what's funny is I actually uh, started hearing that rumor, and then whenever I was told that uh, the rumor was actually starting to grow a little, I was like, you know, the thought started popping in my mind. But I know the university right now. I'm still young and still got a lot going on. They deserve someone that that's, that truly can come in and bring great things in right now. Now, the possibility of becoming the Lobo head coach eventually, that would be amazing because I would love to come back here. And when this whole rumor stuff started coming out, I actually started talking to some guys that I played with. I was like, look, if I ever do get the chance to become the head coach here, I already know the kind of guys I'd have on my staff. And uh, it's funny because you remember Cole McGamey, he was my quarterback and great guy and his football knowledge is amazing and I if he didn't get hurt I figured he I think really think he could have went on and played but um I told him I was like look if I become head coach you're my offensive coordinator because his knowledge of the game is very good and you know he's a great athlete and I just think that he along with a couple other guys that, that I potentially could have brought in if the, if the opportunity comes to become a head coach would be uh, would do a lot of good, but right now I think they've made a uh, a great decision in Coach Davies, and I think uh, and once I get the chance to go over there and meet him, I would love to let him know that hey, I support because I always say it once a Lobo, always a Lobo, and I'll be in here uh, supporting the guys whether it's here. If I get the chance, I would love to come to a game, but if it's from LA or wherever I'm at, I'm going to support this team and this university, and you never know. One day, if the opportunity does come up, I. I'm not saying I would say full yes, but I'm definitely not saying that I would say no if I had the chance to be the head coach. All right, cool. We haven't asked you about the 49ers game. Oh, you've been waiting for that, haven't you? He's been waiting. I, I have. He's been I, waiting. I, I don't know I if I wanted to ask before. you. Yeah, so, I think he's shy. so what do you think? The 49ers front is incredible. It's just pressure after pressure. It's like, a, like when I'm talking about the Giants. And I think they're going to take away the play action of the Saints, but Drew Brees is – the guy, the best guy in the NFL at resetting his feet, how quick he does it. So if you don't get pressure on you, he can hurt you. But the Saints do a lot of, of uh, their big plays off of play action, and you, they're going to be. If you take away the run like the 49ers do, where they allow one rushing touchdown all season, that's unheard of. So that takes away the play action. But then you got two key weapons in. Uh, Darren Sproles and Graham. Uh, Sproles is incredible back there, and I think that that's why it was such a huge loss for the Chargers, but such a great gain. I believe Breeze was the one who was at the forefront of that, bringing Sproles in. is it's that mismatch he creates, so it's going to be how much pressure they can get on Breeze, and I think if the 49ers can get the pressure on him, it's good. If not, you give him time. There's a reason he led the league and broke the record this year. Drew Breeze is a very good quarterback, and so, like I said, it's, we've gone through all the games, but, man, it has been incredible this year, and especially this weekend of the caliber of games that are going down. This is a true, true playoff atmosphere weekend. Cool. So what are you going to be doing for the playoffs? Uh, tomorrow I'll be still sitting here uh, having some meetings and whatnot and then traveling back tomorrow. But uh, Sunday, I know uh, Kendra's going to put a little Hank with me because she's like, look, I watched them last time. I need I need some football. That's what Kendra wants. Like I need to sit on the couch and watch me some football. So I'm about to figure out a way to get Bill Hank like a little mini man cave to keep him busy so we can enjoy some football. <laughs>